Hey guys, my name is Rupatel and I am the creator of Blue Hand Coding and I'm really pleased to welcome you to the first video here on the Blue Hand Coding YouTube channel. A couple days ago I posted a TikTok that went viral because I showed how to use a Raspberry Pi to send text messages to your iPhone. A lot of you guys requested a tutorial, so here it is. There are a couple prerequisites that I'm going to be assuming you know how to do before this video. I'm going to assume that you know how to SSH onto your Raspberry Pi, that you do have some comfort with writing code on the command line, and that you've created a TextNow account. So without further ado, let's get started. Okay, so I set up on my MacBook and we can go ahead and SSH onto our Pi. So I have the IP address, rather the local IP address of my Pi, and I can go ahead and enter my password. This is actually the Raspberry Pi that I use for my VPN, so if your host name looks a little bit different right here, don't worry about it. So in this video, I'm going to specifically build the Kanye West quote messenger that I showed in my last video, which is going to send Kanye West quotes from 8 a.m. to 3 p.m. Monday to Friday. So we can start by making our Kanye messenger folder. We can do that by running mkdir, which stands for make directory, and we'll call it Kanye messenger. We can then enter this folder with cd Kanye Messenger. From there, we can then create our virtual environment. And our virtual environment is the space where we can install all of our dependencies for this project to work. So with Python 3-m, venv, 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 and we'll let that run. So we know that our venv will be installed properly if we type in ls and we see that this venv folder is here. And now we can go ahead and activate our virtual environment. So we'll do source venv bin activate and you see that this Venv um, shows up in parentheses on our command line. And if for whatever reason you do need to deactivate the virtual environment, you can always type in deactivate. And this will get, take it back to normal. But for the video, we'll stay activated. I'll go ahead and clear the screen so that we can go ahead and start installing the libraries slash dependencies that we'll be using. So there are two dependencies that we can install. Well, there are three in total. We'll be using requests python.env and pytextnow. We can pip install request in python.env, so we'll go ahead and do that. We'll do pip install requests. After that's done, we'll then do pip install python.env. It is possible to pip install the pytextnow API wrapper. However, I did have some issues with it, so we're going to be installing it from the source. So I'm here on the GitHub page for Pytext now. I'll come to the code tab right here, and I will copy uh, this URL for the Git link. We'll come back to a Raspberry Pi with that link saved to our clipboard, and we'll clear. So what we can do is we type in git clone, and we paste that link that we got from the website. Once we clone that, if we type ls, we should see the pytextnow API folder. So we're going to cd into that folder. If we type in ls, we'll see this setup.py. And we'll be using this to install the pytextnow library into our virtual environment. However, there is some changes that you might have to make to requirements.txt. So we'll go ahead and do that. We'll type in nano requirements.txt. And this will basically open up a text editor for us to interact with. And I'm going to come here and just remove this mime types line. Once that's done, we'll just type control O, enter control X. So now that we've made that change, we can go ahead and install the library with Python setup.py install. And this will go ahead and install the PyTextNow library um, from its GitHub repository. After installing our PyTextNow library, we can then type clear to clear our screen, uh, we're still in the PyTextNow folder, so we can type in cd dot dot, and we'll be back in our Kanye Messenger, and we type ls. We can then remove the repository with rmr, and this r flag is to remove the folder. And y, and if we type in ls now, we'll see that it is gone. So to store our credentials, we're going to be using something called environment variables. So to do that, we'll need to create a dot and file, so we'll say touch dot env and then we'll say nano dot env and this is the space where we will be storing all of our credentials and pytext now has three requirements to basically send a message you need a username you need an sid and you need a csrf we'll put equal sign next to all of these because we'll be setting their values in this file so now let's go through and access and 
get all of the ones that we need. So to get our username, you're gonna come to your home screen on uh, text now. You're gonna go to your settings and you can find your username right here. So we'll copy this come back to our text editor and I'll just paste that in there. I'll drop down a line and now we're gonna be looking for our SID and CSRF cookies. So we can do that by coming back to our text now home screen. We'll press function 12 or your Chrome developer tools, whatever you're using. And this will open up the inspector for the application cookies. So it should be under the application tab, cookies. You'll have to see a drop down and the text now cookies. So we'll be using this connect.sid cookie right here. So we'll copy that. We'll come back to our text editor and then paste that, drop down a line. We will come back to find our CSRF cookie. It's right there. We'll copy that as well. Come back to our text editor and paste that. And you can also uh, additionally set the phone number that you wanna send your number to, which I will be doing so that I don't leak my number when we start writing the code. So once you've filled out all your credentials, you can then type control O, enter, and then control X. And if you type in cat, Dot env, you should see all the credentials which we outlined. So I'll go ahead and clear the screen one more time. And now we can actually start building our project since we have our credentials saved. So we're going to create our Python file. We will call it Kanye quote .py. And now to edit this, we can say nano Kanye quote .py. And our text editor pops up one more time. So the first thing we're actually going to be doing is just experimenting with the Kanye API. The API can be found here at this link. There is no need for any authentication, so it's really easy to access. And every time we reload, we get a different quote. It basically just returns a dictionary um, where the only key is just quote. And the associated value with that key is the actual quote itself. So we'll go ahead and copy this link right here. We'll return back to our editor and we can start writing some Python code. So we'll import the request library, which we pip installed earlier. And we'll also set our URL variable to the URL, which we copied from the API. Then we can have our request library make a get request to the URL and we can actually pull the JSON from this with response.json uh, because the response that we got on Chrome was actually a dictionary. And then we can just print out the quote. So we'll save that with control O, enter control X. And as you can see, the file is here. So if we run Python Kanye quote.py, what should ideally happen is that a quote gets printed out. So run that. Okay, it looks like I made an error. So we'll go back to editing, nano Kanye quote.py. And this should not be request, it should be requests. So control O, enter, control X. If we run that again, we should get our quote. And if we run this one more time, we should get a different quote. And every time we run it, we should get a different quote. Cool. So now we know that our API component is working. So then we can start building on the messenger component. So we can then clear the screen another time and we'll nano our, we'll open up our text editor with nano. So the first thing we wanna do is go ahead and pull all of the important tokens and cookies and everything that we saved to our .n file. And we're gonna pull that into our code by making some imports first. We'll say from .env import load underscore .env and this is actually from the python.n library, which we pip installed earlier. You will also need to import pytext now, which we installed, if you remember, from that uh, GitHub repository. So we'll say, or rather we'll say import pytext now as ptn. This will make it easier for us to just write code. And then we'll also import OS. So basically these, uh, the dot n will load the environment variables, but we'll be using OS to actually pull those environment variables into our code. So the first thing we'll do is load dot n. We'll just run that function so that all of our environment variables are loaded. We'll come down here right above URL and we can start uh, pulling in our username, our SID, our, CSR, our CSRF, and the recipient phone number that we want to send um, the messages to. So we'll say that the username is equal to os.getEnv username. So if you remember, we said in our .n file, username is equal to whatever username you had, SID is equal to whatever SID you had, CSRF is equal to whatever CSRF you had. So that that's just the same thing that we're doing here. We're just accessing the associated values. So I'll go ahead and do the 
same exact thing for SID, CSRF, and our phone number. And now we can go ahead and create our PyTextNow uh, client, which we'll be using to send the messages. So we'll say that our client is equal to PTN, so we're directly talking to the PyTextNow library, and we'll pull the client object, ptn.client, and the first thing we'll pass in is the username, and then we'll also pass in our SID cookie, We'll say SID cookie is equal to SID, which is this variable right here. CSRF underscore cookie is equal to CSRF. So cool, we have created our client object. Now we can actually start sending the messages to um, our recipient. So we'll say client.send underscore SMS. And we save the phone number here to this phone variable. So we'll say phone. And then our quote is basically just this bit right here. So we'll say data and then quote. So if we control O, enter control X, we can then run this kanyaquote.py. And as you can see, I got the quote right here. If you run this again, this is the quote that we should get. I come back and it's right there. So now let's work on actually scheduling this so that it sends 8 a.m. to 3 p.m. Monday to Friday. So we'll clear it another time. We'll come back and we'll say cron tab. E. So this is we're going to creating we're going to be creating a cron job. So a cron job is a job or a script that runs on regularly scheduled intervals. So before we do that, actually, let us take a look at our Venn folder real quick because we're going to be neat, we're going to have to know where our Python script is executing from. Um, so we'll cd into our Venn our bin except ls. We'll see this Python right here. So when you say Python, Kanye, whatever, it's actually running this executable right here. That's the interpreter right there. So I'm just going to type pwd, and we can see that this is the path to this Python file. And just keep that in mind. We'll be using that when we're setting our cron job, because we'll be using the absolute path to both the interpreter and to the file. So we'll clear that, and then we'll open up our cron job manager. We'll call it cron tab e. And if this is your first time, you'll have to select an editor. And as you know, we've been using nano this entire time, so we'll just press one. So you'll come up with another text editor, and you'll have these helpful comments here. So for our purposes, we want to run our Kanye script at the zero minute. So eight o'clock, nine o'clock, 10 o'clock, the minute will be zero in those cases. And we're going to be running from 8 a.m. to 3 p.m. So I'm going to type eight to 15. So this is in the 24 hour time. So this is actually just eight in the morning to 3 p.m. It's just creating that range. And then we're going to leave these blank because we can do it every, uh, we're not specifying a month or anything. But we do need to specify the days of the week. So D-O-W will say 1 to 5. So 1 to 5 is basically Monday 1, one Tuesday 2, Wednesday 3, Thursday 4, Friday 5. So these are the days of the week. And now we can go ahead and then write the actual script which will run. So if you have written it down, um, like I mentioned earlier, you'll have to pull up the path to both the interpreter and the file. So if I remember correctly, it was slash home slash pi slash Kanye messenger um, slash venv slash bin slash python. And then the script, the Kanye quote script was home slash pi slash Kanye messenger slash Kanye quote dot py. And so now that we've set all of that, control O, enter control X. You'll see that a new cron tab has been installed. Or every Monday to Friday from 8 a.m. to 3 p.m. you should get a Kanye quote. And as always, you can always expand on this project um, by adding integration with other APIs. You can use Open Weather Map to access the weather, or you can do something like the Canvas API to send, you know, if you're ever missing an assignment, this is something that you could use. As always, make sure to like, subscribe, and comment. This is my first time ever making a video like this, so if there's any criticisms, feel free to let me know. I'm always looking to improve. And thanks for watching.